the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say all together, you are so lovely. You are so lovely, everyone. It is so nice and, uh, and beautiful to celebrate together this uh, second Sunday of Easter, or we say the Divine Mercy Sunday. God wants to always give us His mercy and His love and His uh, forgiveness. Today, I would like to give you three uh, key words. These three key words is so important for us. So if possible, uh, you know, this week we reflect together with these three key words. The first key word is uh, peace. You know why I'm saying peace? Because Jesus Christ, today's Holy Gospel, not just once, but three times he said, Peace be with you. Wow, this is an amazing word, isn't it? So please remember, at least in this week, peace. Okay, Father Lee said peace. This is so important for me. Okay, and second key words. Second key words is uh, mission. Okay, mission. Mission is so important. Why I'm saying second key words is a mission? Because uh, second, you know, the uh, times Jesus said, uh, "Peace be with you." He said uh, quickly, "As the Father sent me, so am I sending you." Jesus Christ, something, send us. This is very important. We say mission. What is a mission for for me and for you? For us, especially in the name of uh, St. Hugh and St. James, beautiful parish church. This mission is uh, to proclaim the Holy Gospel, the good news, Jesus Christ. Those you don't know yet, or those you know Jesus Christ, but not 100% they know Him. This is our mission. Okay? And... Uh, the third key word is uh, the witness of a resurrection. You know why? The third times Jesus said, Peace be with you, he said. And then he spoke to Thomas. Because Thomas didn't believe when Jesus appeared the first time. And Jesus gave him beautiful, beautiful gift appeared again to Thomas and said, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. This Jesus word value to me and to you too. So how important the uh, third key word is uh, witnesses of a resurrection. Okay? Now, I know. Do you remember now? First key word is uh, peace. 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 Wow, well done, children. Peace. And second? Mission. 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 Wow. <laughs> and last one, third one? Witness. Witness of a resurrection. Thank you very much. This is very important. But do you think, is this possible? Like, you know, the first reading which we have heard all together. First reading, actually, Acts of the Apostles said the whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. Is this possible here in St. James and St. Hugh? No, I don't think so. Even though we have three key words, peace, mission, and uh, witness of uh, resurrection. No, this is impossible. But don't worry. God has never asked us what we cannot do. God gives us always. In our sight, it's difficult, you know, impossible. But God's sight is always possible. So, Something is very, very important to God 
gave us or wanted to give us continually. Probably you understand now what he said. This is, uh, you know, the, the power. Do you remember when God created, you know, the human, Adam, uh, by, you know, the ashes? And then last things he has done, breathe of a life. I mean, the Holy Spirit. So with the Holy Spirit, why not? We can do, we can live like, you know, first, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Christian life, which, you know, the, uh, explained to us very well as a uh, first readings, Acts of the Apostles. Great power. The apostles continue to testify to the resurrection of the Lord, Jesus with a great power. This great power is a, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. So we need absolutely Holy Spirit. Who can, you know, the, uh, fall down from the uh, horses to give a big hug to lepers people? To Saint Francis Assis. By Holy Spirit. Who served those who, you know, the die, getting to die on the street, on the road? Gave the hands, gave the all whole life. Mother Teresa, Saint Mother Teresa, who gave uh, this you know power? Who pushed uh, to do these good things? Holy Spirit. Who can join all together, united all together in the name of Jesus Christ here as Monster and Hong Kong as a big one family? Who? Holy Spirit, my dear brothers and sisters, we cannot say, oh, we are peaceful people. Okay, that's okay, it's okay, don't be, don't, don't be afraid, everything is okay. But something is wrong. What is wrong? Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. Holy Gospel of John, you know, the chapter 15, Jesus said, I am the vine. I am the vine. You are branches. You cannot do anything without me. No, Jesus said you can do 10%. You can do 50%. No. Jesus said you cannot do anything without me, without Holy Spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we are peaceful people. Yes, that's right. We have a mission. Yes, of course, that's right. We are witnesses of a resurrection. Yes, of course, we agree. But without Holy Spirit, we are not these people. So, how can you do? To have always the presence of the Holy Spirit. Listen the word of God. Pray from the morning and to evening, to night, when you think Holy Spirit is there in your heart, in my heart. We can do it. We can use these three keywords which I gave you. So my dear brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to do good deeds in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we are all in Emmanuel. Because God with us. Holy Spirit with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.